right, Anthony Lynn says that he was going to sit out before Dan Campbell called and said that he couldn't pass up an opportunity to be the offensive coordinator of the Detroit Football Lions. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon like, button, share the video. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Appreciate the love and support everybody supporting the channel. Since Anthony Lynn, it's been an absolute pleasure to work with Anthony. But if you're we said that too. All right. Um, but uh, we get to that. Lions OC uh, dish plans for a year off in 2021 to join former player in Detroit. It says Anthony Lynn's football life met a new turn in 2021 when he was fired by the Chargers. And with a, with that, when it came, came an expectation uh, for well-deserved vacation. A year off was Lynn's plan when former players, uh, former player dialed in, dialed him up. Now he's back on the sidelines, but instead of powder blue, he used to wear a shade of Honolulu. Lynn is again coaching uh, this time alongside new head coach Dan Campbell, defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn, and two former Cowboys who played in Dallas with Lynn served as running served as running back coach. Okay, quote: I got to know those two very well. They handled themselves as coaches and players. Uh, and so, excuse me. And so, because of Coach Coach Bill Watch, kind of picked me out and set me aside and talked to me about coaching, and it worked. I try to do the same thing with current players. Lynn said during the appearance on a conference on the on the Beat podcast with Gilbert Monzo and Fernando Ramirez. Quote: It just helped plant a seed. When you're when you're done, that's something I think you should do. And I did that with Dan and Aaron. And I quote: Not actually going to sit. I was actually going to sit this year out, but when they called, I, I had to go because I wanted to be a part of that. I knew it was going to be special. So far, Campbell, Campbell has made as many headlines for what he said as the Lions, what he what he said as what the Lions have done, have done. But this, their coaching staff is filled with former players who might turn Detroit into an attractive destination in the future. First, though, the Lions need to uh, demonstrate they can win games, and Lynn will be tasked uh, tasked with with turning Detroit's offense into a competitive group hand line by Jared Goff. It's all it's all a tall task, sure. But one Lynn has embraced one Lynn has embraced of who is involved in Detroit on paper. It certainly isn't a run of the meal coaching staff. Quote, I just think given I've been on the sidelines uh, since I was six years old, I have not had a break since I was six years old. Literally every single fall Lynn said and I really had it in my mind that I was going to take a gap year, man, travel a little bit, go see some other teams, visit some other coaches I knew, uh, see how they was doing, uh, doing, doing things. I had made my mind to sit out. Continue quote, but when Dan Campbell called, that, that changed everything because, but out of respect, I did go talk with a couple other coaches, and those are guys that have helped me in my career on the way up, so I owe them that, but I just felt right in Detroit. Winning always feel right. We'll see. This fall, of Lynn and the rest of the Lions staff can create a winning environment in Detroit. So, I mean, uh, it's good that he felt that way about Dan Campbell. He felt that way about Detroit because he's from uh, McKinney, Texas. So, I mean, we got a couple coaches from. I think all the the two OCs and the and on uh, and Dan Campbell are from Texas. So that that's wild, bro. Cause let's see, Dan Campbell got Clifton, Texas. I think Aaron Glenn's from Humble, Texas. And um, and Anthony Lynn is from McKinney, Texas. So, Texas and Detroit. That's crazy. So, we just, you know, that, that seemed like he had a lot of respect for Dan Campbell to get that call. He could have been like, well, he had other places to go. I'm pretty sure they may be more attractive destinations as far as, you know, cities and as far as climate he could have went to. But, um, like I said before, I mean, plus he had better situations with a quarterback. Pretty sure he was aware of when the job if he, if he came in after the trade, he was worried that Stafford wasn't going to stay. So, I mean, that that's that's crazy, bro. That's wild, man, to, to sit here and um, to sit here and, uh, and pick Detroit. And he wanted to sit out a year and um, and enjoy himself. He said he'd been on the sideline since he was six. And, you know, come here, coach here. But uh, one thing they got going is you got a black GM. You got a black a lot of black people in the coaching staff, him, Deuce Staley, Aaron Glenn, and probably some others. And also, you know, they invested into the trenches, so they got a really good offensive line. So, I mean, most people don't, you know, if you're taking a vacation a year off, you made a lot of money, would you really come to Detroit? Probably not. So, he must have a lot of respect for the city and a lot of respect for um, 
A lot of respect for Danny Campbell. And uh, is he married? Let's see if he's married. Yep, he married to uh, since 2011. So uh, apparently his wife was on uh, NBC at one point. But uh, but yeah, let's see. Let's keep going on. And then he played running back. He was six three running back. I think he was a running back. And I think he played running back. I think he was a running back. Uh, yep, he was a running back. At six three, he had that Brandon Jacobs going on. He went undrafted though. But um. Anthony Lynn, it's been, a, it's been an absolute pleasure working with Jerry Goff. He goes on. He says, the Lions are clearly beginning a new era in 2021, not just with a new general, new general manager and head coach, but also with a new quarterback. Since he was traded from the Los Angeles to Detroit, Jerry Goff has, has, said, he has said he feels empowered to help craft the office around him. He feels he's at his best at during the appearance on Compost and the Beat podcast this week. Lions officer coordinator Anthony Lynn and Gilbert Monzon, Fernando Ramirez, how much he's enjoyed Jerry Goff. Quote, it's been an absolute pleasure working with Jerry Goff. Lance said, just giving him some input, watching him grow as a leader on our football team. That's really been cool to see, but he has some really good practices. And hopefully, that carries over to training camp and the regular season. But very pleased with what I've seen so far. Lance and Goff technically shared a city from 17 to 2020. They weren't, they, they weren't in the same conference, so they didn't necessarily run, run in the same football circles. But the Chargers and Rams shared joint training, joint, joint, joint training camp practices. In two of those seasons, plus the Rams beat the Chargers in 2018. I watched the guy, quote, I watched the guy for these two years up close and personal and practice, and I was always impressed with his arm talent. Lance said, time will tell if Lamb and head coach Dan Campbell, the QB coach, Mark Brunel, can get the best out of golf so that he returns to a strong level he played in 17-18. If they can, the Lions may have a quarterback of the present in the future. And he's only 26 years old, Jerry Goff, so... I mean, my thing is this, and I've been saying this a few times over the offseason. Um, my thing is this. When they put the pads on, I believe it. And I, and I, and I, and I, when, they, when they put the pads on, if the level of, uh, if the level of uh, praise is still high, you know, then, you know, he, you know, then I believe it. And especially when week one comes versus San Francisco, which for apparently from their fans to let me know that they've owned Jared Goff over the last few years. So, I mean, we'll see, man. When they put the pads on, when the regular season come, um, we can sing his praises. So, let me know what you guys think about A-Lynn. Think about his uh, thoughts on taking the year off, but really having to come to Detroit. What do you think about Jerry Goff? Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video quest. All the social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way, and Facebook, and Instagram. All my social media links in there. Facebook group link there. I'm going to have a Facebook group. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. But so to donate, share, share the video one time for the one time. Mercy, sports talk, peace.